All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're gonna be finding out exactly how good this brand new April Fool's Int Youth Bulma really is and maybe have a quick discussion about how she compares to other free to play units in this game at the very end. All right, now real quick, let's start with the details for this card for anybody that doesn't know. Her leader skill is Dragon Ball Seekers, category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 41%. Her super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 41% for four turns. Her passive is attack and defense plus 41%, high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attacks. And she also gets an additional attack and defense plus 81% and key plus 9 when there is a character whose name includes uh, Goku Youth attacking in the same turn. And uh, this does include cards that have Goku and also another unit. So for example, Goku and Arale or Goku and Bulma, so on and so forth. Those count as well. And her links are Shocking Speed, Money Money Money, Brainiacs, The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Scientist. And her categories are Dragon Ball Seekers, Peppy Gals, DB Saga, and of course, Youth. Alright, so those are all the details you need to know about this unit. Oh, also, her team cost is only 7, which is super, super low. I don't think it really matters for most people, but I guess if you're like a very, very new player and you only have very low team cost limit, then it's going to be beneficial for you, I guess. I mean, team cost 7 is like super low. It's got to be one of the lowest in the game. Anyways, this is the uh, the Bulma. Let's uh, jump into the gameplay. And as you can see, we have a youth slash DB Saga team here. And obviously, it's not going to beat this event, the Legendary Goku event, but this event obviously is amazing for showcasing units. So uh, we're going to do a couple runs, couple stages in this video and uh, see how good this Bulma is. Now let's pop her in the beginning. And her starting stats are 126,000 attack and 66,606 defense. Now I'm not really sure how to feel about that number. It might be a little unlucky, it might be a bad omen, but <laughs> as far as an actual defensive stat goes, that's not bad. 66k for a free to play unit on the first turn when we know that she actually stacks defense as well, uh, as well at least for a couple turns, right? So 66k starting, no supports on rotation, that's actually pretty solid it's just kind of a weird number um <laughs> i don't know if it's a bad sign but we're just gonna go you know keep going we're gonna move forward first super not too shabby man 832k so almost a million there guys almost a million and we got the crit 710k of course we got the dodge too so not only is she meant to be a you know somewhat offensive unit she can do some decent damage as you can see, right? Um, she's also great defensively because she increases her own defense, but she also has that high chance to dodge, which is, I believe, 50%. So half the time, she is gonna be dodging attacks, both normal attacks and supers, unless you're facing an enemy that uh, seals your ability to dodge, right? So for example, the UI Goku at the very end of this fight, is uh, not gonna allow you to dodge, so it's gonna be useless there. But for most events in this game, you are gonna be able to dodge all attacks, like Super Battle Road, um, any Dokkan event, or at least most Dokkan events, I think. There might be one or two that stop you from dodging as well, but for the most part, most events in this game, you can dodge attacks. So she's gonna be super, super helpful there as well, just to reduce the damage they're taking every single turn she's on rotation. So uh, that's pretty good. Now. We are on the second uh, appearance here, and we have one of the best possible, actually basically the best possible support for any int or super int unit, the Youth Gohan. So we should see something pretty good here. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, yo. <laughs> Dude, 115,000 defense now. 115K all the way up from 66K. Um, last turn and her attack is up to 219,000 and uh, She's gonna be stacking a little bit of attack as well this turn. So We're definitely gonna be over a million. I'm not sure how much over a million. I guess we'll find out But easily over a million. Let's see. Here we go 1.1 mil 
Okay. Okay, so as I said, over a million. I I was hoping for a little bit more, to be honest. Right? Ooh, the additional two. Okay. Okay, so two supers this turn. That's over two million in total attack right there. And we got the crit as well. Almost a million there. Finished off the Goku. Not bad. Not bad. Now for the first super, I was expecting a little bit more. You know, I was hoping for maybe close to like 1.3 or something like that. But 1.1 is still very, very good. Don't get me wrong. All right, maybe my expectations are a little bit too high. But if you factor in the fact that she has the high chance to dodge and uh, she's also super, super self-sufficient for key if you have the Youth Goku on rotation, right? Because she gets plus nine key. So you never have to worry about her not getting a super off. Um, and then you factor in the fact that she also increases her attack and defense every single time she supers. Uh, she's overall a very, very good unit, man. Now, this is my first time actually using her since I farmed her yesterday on stream. But, you know, just looking at the details on paper when the details first leaked, I was like, she's going to be good. She's going to be a really good free-to-play unit. And there were a lot of people on my stream yesterday, they were like, yo, she's not worth it. She's not that good. She is 100% worth it, guys. Now, she is 100% worth it, trust me. Like, she is one of the better free-to-play units in this game. She's definitely not the best, but she's top tier, I would say. Like, she is in the upper echelon of, you know, really, really good free-to-play units in this game. Okay, so now we don't have any support this turn, but look at that. Uh, even more attack than last turn, actually. 230k attack, 121,000 defense now because we got the double super last turn. That's why I would usually recommend people to okay so let's pop her here actually i would usually recommend people to uh give her some additionals in addition to crits right so don't focus on just crits don't focus focus on just additionals i think the best way to build her is to have a balance so 10 and 10 which is what i did look at that yo look how well she's tanking these attacks man that's crazy that's crazy dude so we took nine damage for the normal and then we dodge the second one, so we didn't even take any damage there. And then we get the additional again. So yeah, like I said, guys, the best way to build her, I think, is a balance. But if you're going to focus on one, then maybe focus on additionals over crits, right? So maybe do like, um, what would the split be? Like 13 additional, 7 crit, if you can do that. Not really sure if that's an option. But uh, either way, if you want to focus on one, I would go more additional just because she can build up her attack and defense a little bit faster. Now, there is a limit on it, which sucks. But I think if they made her stack infinitely, that would have been a little bit too broken. But uh, at the same time, at the same time, she stacks pretty fast, right? Because she gets 41% attack and defense as, the, as opposed to the usual, what would it be? like 20%, 20 to 30% for infinite stackers. So, she, so she'll build up that attack and defense faster than your infinite stackers. It's just she has a limit of four turns. So it is what it is. Obviously, if she got 41% infinitely, like every single super, she would become like one of the best units in the game, I think, even when compared to summonable units. So obviously Bandai didn't want to do that. But uh, with all that said, even with the restriction, still really good. Like really, really solid, man. I'm, I'm not just saying that. Like she is very much impressing me right now. Okay, so let's go like that. Actually, do we get some additional links from Ula? I don't think we do. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the same either way. So we'll keep her in the front and hopefully dodge some of those attacks. But even, even if we don't dodge, I think we can easily tank these attacks from the tech goku um, once again 121,000 defense now 354,000 attack so over a million this time for sure can we get over 1.2 possibly 1.14 this time okay 1.14 so offensively like really really solid guys you know she's not going to put out the craziest numbers i've ever seen even for a free to play unit but she's very good defensively she, oh my god, I actually, I actually wanted that super to hit. I wanted to see how well she could tank that super, but we got the dodge, so it doesn't even matter. But um, yeah, she, she does good damage. She tanks really good, um, especially for a free-to-play unit. And uh, I mean, that's it. That's all I really got to say about her. I mean, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have used her yourself. What do you think about this April Fool's Youth Bulma? Do you think your time was well spent farming her 
and getting her done. If you haven't yet, I would say do it. I would recommend it, but it's up to you. Now, for a second, just enjoy this amazing animation. I think he, I think this kid still has one of the best uh, active skill animations in the game. Like seriously, it still looks so good to this day, man. He's pretty old. He's one of the original active skills, but I mean, <laughs> they killed it with this one. They really did. Look, look how freaking clean this is. I know this is a youth Bulma showcase, but we gotta give some love to the kid Goku's active skill, man. It's just way too good. It's way too good. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do a couple more rotations here, but uh, I think we're gonna call it very, very soon. Um, Cause you guys have already seen pretty much everything there's to see about the about the Bulma, right? But I think she's really good, guys. I do think she is top tier. I don't think she's the best. Obviously, she doesn't compare to like free to play LRs or anything like that. But nobody expected that. I'm just talking about how she how how she compares to like other you know story free to play units and stuff like that right and she compares really really favorably to those she's better than most of them like better than 90 percent of the farmable free to play units in this game okay here we go take the super come on 89k okay so that hurt a little bit but you know a less tanky unit would have taken that for way more all right i've seen super saiyan 3 goku super hit me for like 200k or something like that for you know, a very untanky unit. Like for example, if the Pan took that super, she would have taken easily like 200k plus, right? So, uh, 89k is still still pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're, actually, I'm not gonna use any items. So if we can survive this turn, then uh, it was meant to be. If we don't, then that's gonna be the showcase. So let's see what the Dokkan gods want right now. Uh, we're gonna save that Dokkan attack, of course, for the next turn. If we can potentially get a Dokkan attack with the Balma. That would be the perfect way to end the showcase. But if not, then it's, it's okay. It just means that it wasn't meant to be. Um, even if we end the showcase here, you guys have seen more than enough. And I'll say it once again. Yo, Youth Bulma, top tier, man. Top tier free to play unit. Seriously, I'm not joking. If you guys haven't done her yet, haven't finished her. Uh, oh, interesting. Yo, Bula might kill Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Oh, there, there we go. Okay. Okay, yo, girl power, man. This video is all about female empowerment. That's crazy. Yo, the two female characters going crazy in this video. And um, yeah, this is this is going to be it, guys. This is going to be it. So let's see. Bulma's at 93,000 defense, 232,000 attack. Unfortunately, no support with the Dokkan attack. But uh, either way, this is the perfect ending to this awesome video. Another awesome, really, really good free-to-play unit uh, that we can farm for free and especially for free-to-play players. She can definitely help you get through a few events that you might be struggling with. So don't sleep on her. Get her done when you can. You won't be able to do her. You won't be able to farm her <laughs> probably until next April Fool's if you don't do it um, before this event goes away. So I would, I would take advantage right now, man. And also, what else are you gonna be doing on Global? There's literally nothing else to do on Global, so you might as well get her done, right? Just farm her. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And once again, let me know in the comments down below your opinions on the Youth Bulma. I think she's awesome. I think she's fantastic. And I look forward to using her more in some events. Maybe if I build this... Uh, youth team a little bit differently. I could potentially actually Beat the legendary Goku event with her as well on the team I'm Not really sure if that would work, but as you can see we got pretty far already um, I don't think that without items at least we can beat this even with, even with items The next two stages are gonna be pretty tough, but that being said, I think it's possible So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see what I can do with this team and uh, Maybe come back with a legendary Goku event clear using this youth Bulma. But for now, that is the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you guys liked it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.